Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn uh, flowcharts and algorithms basics. So what are flowcharts? Flowcharts are actually pictorial representation of how the process is going on. It can be a C program or it can be an industrial process, any process. But when it comes to uh, explaining a process, so pictorial representation gives more idea than uh, words. So pictorial representation of a process is called a flowchart. So how the flow goes, how the program starts, how the program uh, takes a diversion from one condition to other condition. So everything will be explained uh, through pictures. So we have a shape here. This shape is called initialize shape. So this is used to uh, start the process. So it, it indicates the start or the end of the process. So this design, what are the parallelogram is? The parallelogram is used to represent data input outputs. So if you want to take any input data or output, da uh, output any data, you, you will be using a parallelogram. And this, this shape is for process. If you want to do some uh, processing or any calculation, uh, you can use uh, a rectangle. So the diamond shape or the rhombus shape uh, is used for making decisions. So it indicates that you are making some decision depending upon the output of the decision. Whether, if you, whether uh, depending upon a condition, you will decide what to do exactly. So you will be using a condition inside a decision making a shape. And this is a predefined process. It can be a function. So you will be calling a function uh, when you when you call a function for a main function or any other function. You can represent the function call using this block. This is called predefined process. So it's a process defined separately in your program. So if you want to call that process, you want to call the predefined process. You will be using this block to represent. And the connector. So, if you want to uh, extend your uh, flowchart for more than one page, uh, one page after the other page, or you want to keep it in a separate place, part by part. If you want to keep uh, some parts of uh, flowchart in one place and the other part in other other place, uh, first half of the flowchart in uh, in the one page and second in the next page. So, you can use connectors, and uh, you can also mention the labels how it continues. You can mention a symbol like A, B. And on the other side also you'll mention A, B. So that is a connector point. So if the for loop ends here to the connector, so that it has to continue with the same labeled connector on the next part of the for loop. So this is off page connector. So when you are extending your uh, flowchart, it's, if it's on the next page, uh, if it's coming overlapping on the next page, they can, then you can use an uh, off page connector. So it shows that the, the flowchart is continued in the the adjacent page in the book. So we have an example of flowchart here. So in this, we are uh, writing a flowchart for to check whether a, a variable is larger than the other variable. So which variable is large? So we use a start initialize shape and we say start and then we use a parallelogram to say read input from the keyboard A and B. So once the input is wrote, we use parallelogram to take input and we use a decision shape to check whether the A is greater than B. So if that condition is true, so we take a decision like yes, if that is a true, print A is large. So again, you can see this uh, recta, this parallelogram is used to give output. So you for our input and output, we always use a parallelogram. So after that, we say end the program. So though the, if the value A is greater than B, the program starts from here, it goes here and the uh, control goes this way. It will not never go to this way because A, if A is greater, so it takes this path and will print A. So if A is not greater than B, then it takes this path. So it will not take this path. It will go to this path and prints B and ends the program. So this is how we uh, pictorially represent uh, a program, a, soft, a C program. So you can also write algorithm. Algorithm is more like uh, English language, English sentences. Uh, these sentences uh, will tell you what exactly is happening in every step. So in the first step, we say start. In the second step, we'll take the input from the user. So once the input is taken, we'll next what a step is we have to check the number, which number is greater. And once the decision is made, then we can print the uh, greater number and then the program stops. So this way we can write algorithm. Algorithms are simple steps what exactly happens in the program. So you can write it in a normal English. 
so we have one more example here here we, we are using a loop we, we want to calculate sum of n numbers here so we start the program using the initialize block we take the input n from the user and we initialize sum and i to 0 so i is a loop variable and sum is the variable in which we want to take the sum of n values so here we are checking is n is i is less than n or equal to n so until the i is less than or equal to n exit if it's true it calculates the sum at the value i i initially is 0 so we have to increment this i have not given an increment statement here so you have to add an increment statement after sum is equal to sum as i we have to say i plus plus so it increments and goes again checks the condition again if the condition is true it, the next again the sum is equal to sum plus i will be executed and again it checks the conditions so uh, it, it increments and again checks the condition so if the condition is true it again executes and increments the uh, i variable i plus plus we have to add i plus plus in this uh, block below the sum so uh, until the i is less than or equal to this condition is true and the, this statement will be executing once i increments to greater than n value if, if n is 10 and i becomes 11 so 11 less than or equal to 10 is false so it will come out of the loop it will come out of the loop and the path, execution path take this way and it will print the sum calculated in the entire loop iteration and it will print the sum and it will end the program so this way we can use uh, pictorial you can see here i've used a rectangle to do some calculation initialization of values you can see some processing everything should be uh, written in a rectangle so we can also write algorithm for the same program we say start take input from the user is a step two and we have to initialize in the step three initialize sum and loop variables and check the loop condition every time so add the loop variable to sum sum is actually zero so add it to the uh, in every iteration until the loop condition becomes false so loop condition how does it become false we need to uh, increment the loop variable uh, inside the loop by saying i plus plus so we say it in a sentence in simple english uh, language in the algorithm so this is the simple, simplest way of writing an algorithm uh, for a program there are more complex ways of writing i just want to explain you the simplest way so then after all the iteration once the condition becomes false we print the sum and stop the program so this way we can write a uh, flow charts and algorithms uh, to the NEC program. Friends, in this video, we learned how to uh, create a simple flowchart and algorithm. Thank you for watching this video.